like millions of other kids, you dreamed of one day being in the NBA. You wanted to be a star and someday to rise above and become the greatest to ever play. You dreamed of being the one, but the road to stardom is never easy. There are obstacles, injuries, and disappointments. Adversity is universal. It can happen to anyone at any time. And one day, it happened to you. You went from being a guaranteed lottery pick to a kid who may never even play college ball again. Now look, it's always bad to hear about injuries, especially to college kids, of course. Yeah. But Stephen A. Smith, this one is particularly disheartening because we are two weeks into the season and one of the top NBA prospects in the country goes down potentially with a season-ending injury, a knee injury. That's a killer. I couldn't agree more. When I heard he was carried off the floor today, all you can do is find yourself hoping that he'll make it back. That's the bottom line. But my heart goes out to him because I didn't expect this. This is a devastating injury. It's never good to have something like this happen to you. The teen doctor broke the news. Torn ACL, sprained MCL, and a torn meniscus. Surgery was scheduled, but your game will likely never be the same. At the 2016 NBA draft, your name is still mentioned. Not as a prospect, but as a cautionary tale. Now, there's another huge story in this year's draft. A record number of underclassmen, 30 of them, undrafted. And I hope, anyway, that this is a lesson. This serves as an example to college players. I'm not talking about the ones who are genuinely one and duns, the guys you know are going to be lottery picks. I mean the rest of them. The not, they're not sure shots. You're not sure they're going to be lottery picks. Don't just use the college system for a year thinking you're going to bounce. It doesn't work oh, like please, that. Please. If you don't have the talent, it doesn't work. you got to be cultivated please, in the system. Please, please, There you go again with your blanket generalizations. You know how you are, oh, Max, the woe is me. Oh, my Lord, I can't, I can't take it. I just can't take it. It's a case-by-case -case basis. You can't just blanketly decide this should not be one and done, or this should be one and done. you got to go on a case-by-case -case basis. Some dudes deserve to be one and done. Some people don't. It's on a case-by-case -case right. basis. And that is my point. Thank you for making it for me. Every kid thinks they're the exception to the rule. And members of the media like Ahem, Stephen A. Smith are encouraging these kids to come out early. Look, Max, bottom line is this. You got to take this into consideration. You had two dudes. They were called the Height Brothers. Now, you had Nick Howard. This kid had a lot of promise. What does he do? He goes to college. Very uneventful first year, no doubt. The second year, he was pretty good. Here's the problem. The NBA, it's not about pretty good. You need to be great on the collegiate level, on the prep level, in summer leagues and what have you, in order for you to get the stature that you deserve. That's the bottom line. If pretty good ain't good enough to That's be that That's my point. NBA, how That's is exactly it my Let point. Let me finish. Let me finish. There's another example. I just say the Hype Brothers. I wasn't talking about one individual. I was talking about two. What happens? One and done in a different way. One year, one ACL injury later, and look where he's at now. His future is clear clearly uncertain. So you got to take advantage of that opportunity because you never know when an injury is going to cost you everything. Stephen A, listen to yourself. Let's listen to yourself for a second. You give one argument for why a kid should come out early, a one-and-done situation. I can give you 30 arguments this morning alone why they should stay in school. And now you have to wonder what a kid like Nick Howard, who has given up his college eligibility, does next? What does he do next? First of all, don't sweat the technique. The argument, or one argument, as long as it's strong enough, that's all that matters. That's number one. Number two, the Hype Brothers was something special. What they really, really need to do, and I'm going to tell you what they need to do, Mac. They need to get back to playing together. And my sources are telling me the ACL injury has been completely healed. So go on a pro-am circuit. Go in summer leagues. Do what you got to do to get back on the court together to remind everybody of what you want to work. Because once you pull that off, the sky's the limit. That's what they need to do. Get back to playing and ball together because when people see what you can do as one, the other arguments don't really matter. Like I said, don't sweat the technique. 
Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to chapter one of NBA Live 18's demo. Right now, I'm talking to Nick Howard about making my comeback, man. Basically, Stephen A. Smith big me up on his talk show, and now Nick is reaching out to me, letting me know, hey bro, I think that we should do things, man. I think we should get back together. Now, my storyline is that I was completely injured. I tore so many different things, but now I'm back. I've been rehabilitated and I think that I have what it takes to get there out there on the court now one major thing there's gonna be a lot of people doubting me a lot of people but as long as I got my core following around my core fans my best friend and others to big me up and hype me up anything is possible man you guys see it right here it's saying yeah let's do it that means that I get 500 plus hype and I get 3,000 RP or I can choose a loot crate and I can just get one nice little rise up loot crate where it'll unlock anything inside of the unlocks. Now check this out. Me personally, I'm that guy that wants to go for the RP and sometimes I will be going for loot boxes. But for right now, you got to be hyped. Yeah, let's do it. That's what I'm talking about, man. But let's go ahead and hop into the gameplay. This is going to be Rucker Park and I'm going to have a few NBA stars on my team. Let's hop into it, man. All right, you guys, I know what you're going to be thinking, man. Hey, iPod, what happened to the cutscenes? I decided to delete those out, man. We are at Rucker Park, though. I decided, you know what, I'm not going to let you watch another one-minute cutscene for no reason. We're going to hop right into the action, man. You guys already watched Stephen A. Smith talk for a million years. So it's time to get up into this gameplay. Time to put up these buckets, get these assists, drop them down. You know what time it is? Let's get it, man. Hey, you already know, man, I got Joe Kim Noah on my team, so you know I'm getting these dimes tonight. All right, so I called Joe Kim Noah for that sweet pick and roll. He slips the roll. I drop it down in the paint, and it's easy buckets with the left for Joe Kim Noah right there, man. You see the plus one for the assist right there? Hey, guys, your main objective is to get an 100 game grade. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not the guy to get her 100 right now, okay? I'm still new to the game. I'm still trying to get used to it. But we out on the break. I pull up for the three, and oh, my God, Nick Howard saves me with that nice putback man so we're coming down slowing it down nice little pick and roll with triangle right there i don't know who that guy is but vince carter in the corner for three you know what i'm saying vince but hey i'm gonna tell y'all now man the little dribble sequences in this game are very very dope um but we call another pick and roll with joe kim he knocks him down on his ass i throw it to him in the paint and oh! two hands for safety <laughs> now i'm loving the pick and roll with joe kim noah because it's just too easy I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you it's easy i don't have to do any work but i know you guys are probably thinking bro you just got like three assists why you still got a 71 grade listen i'm gonna tell you now i ain't that keen on defense all right i'm gonna just go ahead and admit that now i ain't that keen on defense i'm still getting used to the game but check out the step back pull up and oh my god talk about putting it back Goodness gracious. Now, I call Joe Kim once again. Call my knight in shining armor. But I pull up in his face and it's cash, baby. And you know what time it is? All I see is threes, baby. Now, it's 14 to 6, man. And right now, Joe Kim Noah is the savior for our team, bro. We can do no wrong with him on our team. And I bring it down, slow it up, make sure I can get to the rim a little bit. Now, I noticed Nick Howard in the paint. So, I'm just going to go ahead, pop out, pull up. Because Nick Howard, you don't need to grab no rebound at night, boy. I just wanted to put him down there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it's 17 to 10, man. The game is not close at all. But I still can't get past my defender. And that's all because I have a very low overall. But setting those screens is what I like to do because I'm pulling up. And Joe Kim Noah is saving me with another putback. I'm telling y'all, man, they're like, they making me look beautiful out here. I'm just going to go ahead and point that out, man. But it's 19 to 10. I go in for the layup for the game winner, and I can't hit it. What is going on? Even with the left, I can't hit. It's crazy, but I'm playing that perfect defense right there. We out on a break. I'm taking it all the way. I'm going to try it again. Put up the floater, and it's bang, bang, baby. And that right there is game over. Easy W for us, man. Joe Kim Noah saved our lives. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, Graham, I ain't even going to lie, man. His putback was kind of serious. Check it out right here, man. Step back, pull up. Off the board. Dunks all up on him. He tried to act like he wasn't even under there. Come on, man. You was under there. You know you got dunked on from putback. Stop playing like that. But, hey, man, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just to show you guys the progression, man. You get experience, street hype, and reward points from how good you do in the game. I had 8 points, 4 assists, and 2 steals. Also, you can track your traits this year, guys. You can track whatever trait you want. You can go for that trait. And your progress level always goes up. I'm going for the overall XP of like a million, bro. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there, man. I'm just trying to be the best player out here. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm just trying to be the best guy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little something, something. I ain't want to, you know, just do nothing for a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys a nice little replay of the game win, man. Now, check this out. One thing about NBA Live, when you go for a steal or you poke the ball loose, the ball doesn't simply fly out of bounds. Whenever you hit the ball, no, where, no matter where you're at on the court, it tries to, you know, give you enough time to catch up to the ball before it goes out of bounds. And sometimes, even if you hit the ball and you think the ball's going to go out of bounds, the person that you tried to steal it from or you blocked may be able to catch up to it. So, you always want to have your eyes on the ball. You always want to make that your main objective to try to scrap for that ball. Go get that loose ball at all times, man. But don't forget, one big big thing guys you can track your traits oh my god just saying that makes me so happy but this is your boy ikc signing out i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on notifications and make sure you like the video peace